things will change. I'm telling you. You got to slap yourself around sometimes. You feel sorry for yourself. Go to the mirror, grab yourself by the shirt, just. <laughs> Nobody has to see it. Just put yourself in alignment. I it's true. I've, I've had things that are like, oh, this is going to happen. And you know what I do? I go to the mirror and I tell myself, okay, this is what they're saying is going to happen. I'm going to tell you, Kevin, what's not going to happen. What's not going to happen is you're not going to freak out. And you're not going to be disobedient and you're going to stand the post and you're going to get out there and you're going to do what God has told you to do. And, the, the, you know, you got to, everything's telling you what's going to happen. You got to tell yourself what's not going to happen. This is not going to happen. I know who I am. I know what I am. Your value and worth is not based on you. Did you call yourself daughter of the highest? Did you? Well, you do now, but he gave you that title right? I, you didn't send in a resume to do it. He gave it to you. And when you call yourself daughter of the highest, you come in alignment with what he says about you. He calls you daughter. To those that receive Christ are given the right to be called the sons and daughters of God. It is a right. It is an established right that's been given to you. Big shift. <laughs> is that at lunch one time? A bunch of pastors like, well, we're just sinners saved by grace as we're all eating our food. I'm like, not me. You're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm a son of the highest. I'm not a sinner saved by grace. That guy's long dead. I rise to the level of my birth. I choose to walk in what Christ has died for me to have. I don't understand it. I don't, I, everything he has told me I can have, I want it. I want it. You should too. You have an inheritance. You have a purpose. You have a destiny. You have a mandate. You have an assignment. All of these things are true. In your inheritance, in his, say it with me, in, my, in his name, in his name. Is, my is my inheritance. Every Christian is given an inheritance. It's Ephesians 2, Ephesians 1. Paul's praying for the church that their eyes would be opened, that they would understand the dimensions of the inheritance that's been given to them. Well, in a sweet by and by, knowing the rotten here and now, right? In the rotten here and now, his name is your inheritance. He's Jehovah Rapha. Healing is your inheritance, right? The bread is for the children, Jesus said. Healing doesn't belong to dogs. Healing belongs to the sons and daughters. Right? She said, yeah, but the dogs, even, even the dogs eat the crumbs. And he said, ah, you believe I'm generous. You believe I'm kind. You believe I'm, I'm capable. I'll give you what you're asking for. But healing is the children's bread, Christian. Jehovah Rapha, he's your healer. Jehovah Jireh, he's your provider. Right? Jehovah Shema, he is with you. Jehovah Rohi, he is your victory. Yeah. Victory in all these things we conquer. We go through. We don't go, we don't go under. We go through. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we go through. You pass through the fire, it doesn't burn you. You go through the waters, they don't overtake you. Our life is victory. Doesn't mean we don't have difficulty, but we have victory, right? This is the point. You guys are all nodding your head. You have difficulty, but you go through it and you become, you become stronger, right? This is the idea. 